congratulations to the back line at home. Um, you really seem to find another gear here this team in the second half. What clicked? Um, honestly, I just feel like how we started off the game, uh, we just tried to do that in the beginning of the third. We know we got out early. We, we got up early quick on them and, and tried to do that in the beginning of the third, but kind of kind of withstood the punches. Um, being able to be up by so much and then, then make a run is a little bit easier doing it that way than, than being down and trying to come back. So. How important was this win when you're heading out on a tough road trip here coming up? It's big. Uh, for one, just to protect home court, um, to, to get wins here and, and to feel kind of get that good feeling before you leave on a road trip and, and a tough road trip at that. So um, just go out there with that confidence and, and try to win the road trip. Carmelo Anthony's first game back in more than a year. What'd you think? It's good to see him, man. It was good to see him back on the court. Uh, kind of looked like his time was a little off. Uh, obviously, he's mellow, so he's still a threat, always a threat, but uh, always good to see him back. You guys came, came close to holding somebody under 100 for the first time this season. Just, do you think the defense, do you think it's picked up you know, tonight and in the last couple of games since that Toronto game? I think so. Um, I think we've gotten more comfortable with each other. Um, I guess we've kind of had like a somewhat of a lineup where we know guys who's going to play and do all that. Uh, because of injuries, obviously that that it sucks, but but that's the reason why. But um, I think we're just getting more comfortable with each other. And uh, as we gradually get guys back, like we got Bi back tonight, uh, I think it was a good fit for him to to come in and and do what he does. So. I think this is the first time you and Bi had 20 in the same game. Do you think you guys are starting to learn how to feed off of each other and kind of uh, you know play off of each other? Uh, yeah, uh, he's actually really, really easy to play with. Um, I think I was the one struggling there <laughs> before that. He, the way he kind of just does his thing is uh, effortless. Um, the way that he can go out there and score is, is very easy, but like I keep on saying, I keep on saying it, um, I don't think that people know how well he can pass. Um, he, he attracts so many guys and he's, what, almost seven feet, so to be able to look, at, look out and, uh, and make plays for other people is, is I think, a strength of his. How much of any better, different, anything that this first week or two was, a, three weeks really, was kind of a struggle for you to start the season? It seems like you've gotten a little traction. Does it feel any different, or is it shots just going in? I mean, just a rhythm, really. Uh, I think anytime you kind of see the ball go in, whether it's um, shooting jump shots or, or getting to the basket, um, shooting free throws, uh, I feel like uh, confidence builds, and, and from there you just feel more like a threat. So. Uh, it was just a matter of time. Can you feel these guys kind of feed off of your energy out there? Does it? Does it? Do you feel like you're kind of leading them to a degree? Uh, sure. You know, I feel like JJ brings his own type of energy. Uh, Jackson out there, even though he, he he's getting a lot more experience, brings his own type of energy. Uh, when Frank comes in there off the bench and and how he plays and even giving us a spark tonight, uh, brings his own type. So I, I just feel like we have a really good group of guys who. Um, bring everything they have every time they play. It was another tough matchup for Jackson tonight. How do you think he's kind of handled getting thrown in the fire the way he he's is? He's done well. He's done really well. Um, really, really, really happy that he gets to get, get this experience now uh, in the beginning of the season because obviously with so many injuries, anything can happen. And um, I think he'll help us out during the season, even even when guys come back. How much of a factor in the defense improvement recently has been Ken Rich and as well as like what he did tonight, drawing charges? Man, he... Uh, that man's underpaid. <laughs> I tell him all the time, man, the, how hard he plays, man. It's just you don't see many people like that. And he don't want any credit. Um, he doesn't care about scoring. Uh, I mean, if you leave him wide open, he's going to talk his trash, which I like. But uh, <laughs> for the most part, he he going he gonna to sit down and guard you no matter who it is, one through five. So you know I'm about that. I'm, I'm always about that. So, yeah, my man K. Rich underpaid. When you initiated that spinning dribble around little, I think it was, in the first half, did you know at that moment how that play was going to end, or did it just as you went to the uh, No, I think it's just I saw him coming. Honestly, I'm more of a finesse type of player anyway. I'm not really trying to dunk. Uh, that takes a lot of energy, <laughs> a lot of energy out of you. But uh, I, I just felt him coming, and at that point, I wasn't trying to get my shot blocked. He seemed like he was pr kind of athletic, pretty athletic, so uh, just had to turn over. Been around a rookie as confident as the kill. It just it seems as if he's just not remotely intimidated by anything. To step up. Yeah. Anything. No, I, I love it. Um, I feel like that's part of the reason why I, I feel like he's so good. Um, always positive. Uh, knows his game. And even sometimes when he struggles, he knows that he can go out there and, and, and make plays in the